I measured my big ugly brick wall and staked the ends of the tape, the middle, and the points between the middle and each of the ends. I then staked six feet out from the middle and four feet out from the stakes on either side of that middle. And I then pulled my tape around to mark the curve. And this picture explains it a lot better. Pause! And then, in a tedious process, I rolled out weed cloth. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Rolly. And I weighed it down with bricks. And I wanted to reuse this weed cloth later. So instead of cutting it, I tucked in the corners around the curve. And everything stayed like this for several months. And I then got all my bottles together and dug and dug and dug. And this tool is called a sharpshooter. I think it's the best tool for digging a trench. The best tool for me in any case. And this trench is about a foot by a foot by a little less than a foot deep. And after I got done digging and digging and digging and digging, and digging and digging after I got done with all the digging I took the bottles and I oh god I'm still digging ah okay I took the bottles and I jabbed them into the bottom of the trench just jabbed the neck into the dirt as like as straight as I possibly could following that curve which isn't really straight it's curved and then I filled in the rest of the space with pea gravel. I believe this will create a terrible place for weeds to grow on either side. And I cleaned out all the little bottoms of the bottles. I would use bottles that don't have that little dip in the bottom if I were you. And I laid up my plants with the tall ones in the back, short ones in the front, removed the weed cloth, put them back, and put them in the ground. And I covered them with pots and buckets, did my mulching, the pots and buckets are there to protect them from mulch, and then my battery died. Dead battery. So here's the final product, my native perennials bed with a wine bottle border. And I will have an update video in a few months when the plants are bigger. Thanks for watching. Bye.